with the ball. First time we've seen Jacob Huggins, one of the freshmen on this team, turns it over. Noah Fernandez knocked down 1-3. Good first step. Can't get the floater to go, and here comes Davis. Out to Fernandez. Made 45% of those last year. Knocks down his first this year. That sent them to the Sweet 16. He's got back-to-back -back triples now. And the thing is, he has Fernandez on him, who's 5'11", so that contest doesn't really bother Peter. Paul Quist with his second tray tonight. Boy, they are feeling it. To Michael Davis, the freshman to Simpson. Now they get it into Amori. Only five shots so far. Fernandez, good pump fake. And the two. He wanted the foul, but he didn't get it. The first half was pretty good. Six lead changes. Second half has been outstanding. Fernandez from UMass to Rutgers. And the bottom of the cup. High checks in. Good cut there by Fernandez. Pierce recovered. Well, that's an almost impossible shot. Well done by the grad student. Fernandez. There's an open Amori. Fernandez, five assists per game last year at UMass. The smash to Amori there. Princeton leads by eight. He continues to try and work to get open. Now he's got it. Little spin, tough shot. There you go. It's a great job once again. The pass that time, Scholl way too strong with it. Our drive by Roy. A couple of BU players down. It's a five on two. David. Nice look and the right idea. Extra pass for Hyatt. That's good. Andre Hyatt on a three ball. Timeout BU. And here is one of Rutgers' new additions, Noah Fernandes, grad student from UMass, who helps facilitate the offense. Left wide open from three. He can stroke it. You saw it right there. Haven't been able to get those easy lays. It's going to affect every shot that comes down there. Griffiths got a good look for three. Splash. Gavin Griffiths. Fernandes, the orchestrator of the fast break as Hyatt swishes in three. And Andre Hyatt has been Mr. Reliable for Rutgers. Bryant has numbers, but Fernandes has the block. And now Big Cliff leaking out. Strip got it back and will shoot free throws. Look, Faust. Georgetown goes and they don't get back. Oh my goodness. Wow. So much for man to man. Counter that Georgetown did a really good old. And now there's a turnover again. Tenth, not a bad foul though. Make that the 11th of the night on the Hoyas. Simpson, crossover. To the wing, Fernandes. Yes. Wow, how about that replace? That's what the bigs do to you. Mm. Amari really running the floor. Cook again, pretty good D. Hyatt, transition three. Whew. And very critical right now in the next four minutes, I think. Rutgers going with some this. pressure nearly got the steal, this. and they did. Fernandes all by himself. But the crowd's been a non-factor because Rutgers has had its way yes. for this kid get to the gas. Yes. Fernandes. Very much so. Fernandes, nice pass. Oh, Murray! Put that on the highlight reel. And nobody on the weak side saw the play whatsoever. Not a good pass, but nobody replaced that he had an outlet. Now look at this. You see how tardy that weak side help is? That Tim. Mentioned for Towns, this is year eight. But Rutgers comes up with another takeaway, trying to turn that into offense. Hyatt for three. No. Scrap for the boards. There's Amori making an impact. Rutgers still has a chance. Fernandes trying to create and splits the lane. Harris, no. Doesn't take much to get a bunch of New Jersey fans fired up. <laughs> Fernandes for the lead. He got it. <laughs> Only one season healthy, though. Sat out another year with a back surgery. Amori gained the positioning and won. The top, you see here, great positioning. Too late coming over on the backside there.
and he absorbs the contact, and that's just too easy for Amori. Baker a little bit older than Fernandes, so the two were playing at tournaments at the same time. Another New Englander playing in the Rutgers backcourt. He has been an instant translation to the college game. Three points, two rebounds today, plus that monster block earlier. But now Howard can't keep their hands on the ball. 12 turnovers. Breakdown on defense for Rutgers. Got to find the shooters, and Towns can knock that one down. Town somebody who knows how to silence a crowd, and Noah Fernandes livening him back up. Eight points. Fernandes in rhythm. Book it. Why not? They can fill up the stat sheet from the three-point line, and you see them letting them fly right now. Now Fernandes getting down to defend. It's a turnover. Hyatt ahead of the pack. He would be the guy getting the post touches. So for the second unit, who is going to be that? Right now, Palmquist is getting that opportunity. Oh, Noah Fernandes found himself wide open. Defensive breakdown there from St. Peter's. A turnover is the fifth from St. Peter's. Amori dodged the first and destroys the rim. And now Wolfel comes up with a steal. Fernandes ahead of the pack for the finger roll. And that's the kind of pace that Rutgers wants to play. It's self from Cliff, and then off the turnover, Rutgers finally in a rut. Go up for the shots, but they're, they're so fearful of getting their shot blocked. Fernandes, there's that lob. Cliff Amori will not be denied inside. And he has been probably the difference maker tonight. Fernandes, saucy, and one! would say Noah Fernandes is the fastest guard out there but you get faster when you lull a defender watch this just that there was a, a little mini if we had slowed it down there was a mini Jermichael Davis the freshman running the point as Fernandes continues to go and go and scores this is veteran look hanging hanging probe probe read the play read the play Okay, best move here is just to take the layup. Over Amori, coming up short, that was Hogue. What a pass from Fernandes, and Amori still finished it! Yeah, he handled this layup like a, like a Gumby up in the air. He passed up a shot. Fernandes fires up top. We have a one possession game. Another three falls. They have continued to build on that effort. Shannon thought he was fouled. Up the floor, Hyatt, and a lane in. Griffiths for three. Knocks down his second three tonight, has eight. And just missed the yeah. NCAA tournament. Just not the same team. Fernandes. They go behind the screen, you lose him. But nice stride to the hole at just then, recognizing that if you're not going to step in front of me, I'll get to the glass. Griffiths has been hot and stays that way. Gavin Griffiths with his third triple. <laughs> <laughs> I only move sometimes. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> you bet. A double team. There's that defense. Fernandes. Watch out. Oh, I thought he was going to get undercut. Too much. Richmond got space, rejected! Cliff Amori says no way! Mag connects! Defense and offense, it's Rutgers basketball! Bragging rights in Jersey at stake. Amori kicks, That's Fernandes got it! That's a real good kick out by Amori because there's nothing happening for him one-on-one -on -one just then in that possession. Just over six minutes left as the clock becomes a factor. A turnover. Good luck. Great luck. Fernandes, Rutgers turning their defense into points again. That's the block shot blocker. Bang. Get out of here. Goodbye. You can see that coming from over here. Reservation denied at Cliff's Cafe to the corner. <laughs> Simpson. As quick as I thought they should have gone. They should have gone a little quicker than this. They got to force something up right now with three seconds left. Fernandes, step back. Noah Fernandes, dagger! And you know what happens? That works when you make a shot. Not your first choice in terms of an offensive set. 
but a year. You don't see it that often, both of them falling down, but oh, nice hand. Saws blocked. Watch. It's a scarlet Saturday night in New Jersey. Rutgers gets revenge at the Rock. And here he is, a sophomore from New Zealand, and Cliff Amori erases his shot. Fernandes in the run out. And Davis cleans it up. Couldn't hit, couldn't connect on the three, and he is 0 of 5. This is a guy who's averaging close to 13 points a game. Cliff Amore, meanwhile, everything and more in this first half. The poise, but the pass here from Fernandes, the fine Amore, outstanding. He loves to hang on the rim. I love it. Cliff Amore, one of the best dunkers in basketball. Fernandes finds the roller, and a Wolfolk got open. It's continuing the battle, looking for this shot, and just hanging around. 12 minutes left in the half. Hyatt, got it. First three of the night for Rutgers. They had it at St. Benedict right around the corner, and the first person I saw was Jimmy Bell Jr. And I asked Chris Jans what he's meant. He said, that is a grown man. Taking up that airspace on the drive. Fernandes from behind, swiped it from Matthews, and put it in. One percentage that I was privy to was he's number one in the Hakeem percentage, the sum of a player's blocks and steals throughout a contest at 15.9%. There hasn't been a whole lot of rhythm. Credit Mississippi State for that. Foul, count it, and an opportunity for three. One on one situation. And Moore was in the play right there, but. That play was made possible by Mawat Max screening the zone, freeing up Simpson right there and taking what the defense gives him. Fernandez pokes it away from behind off Pafletis. Stonehill 0 for 4 from three point land so far. Fernandez pokes it away, his second steal of the afternoon. Throws it up for Mag and he flushes it home. Over Stonehill here in Piscataway. Moat Mag getting the alley oop from Noah Fernandez. Pompquist again, free throw line extended, and it's pure. That's tough right there. That Fernandez penetrating, backdoor cut for Williams, and a pretty left handed reverse. Nice, simple decision right there. Right into the middle of the defense. 21. It continues to be a career night for the Charlotte native. Andre high at a three. And we've got a tie ball game. Felder drew the double team, lost the handle. Bottled up. And here comes Mack. Ahead to Hyatt. But also, as of late, Andre Hyatt's impact offensively. And here you see them turning defense into offense. And he also Double him, not yet. His pass deflected. And Fernandes. A late clock along the baseline. Floats and scores. Currently at 294, leads all active Big Ten players. Fernandes will step in and scores just over on Parazon. Basketball leading by four. Noah Fernandes has been struggling offensively, and that's a Heck of an up and under move that could penetrate and spray it all over the floor. Fernandes kept that pivot foot down, fades and scores. He's off to a phenomenal start. In his hip pocket, Key fell down into the hands of Simpson. And now Fernandes in a three point game. He'll drive, contact and scores. No whistle, it's a one point game. Down to two, down to one. Gale got it off in time. Not sure if that ever got the rim, but Rutgers has the ball anyway. Fernandes will drive on Thornton and scores off the glass. Uh, Mori right now. Fernandes, backdoor cut. Ooh, looked like he shoved Thornton, didn't it? He did. He didn't call that, but it looked like Fernandes cleared some space with a shove on Thornton. I've been wanting to see it. Roddy Rod Piper comes through. <laughs> Ohio State needs it the most. Fernandes step back three. Yes, the answer for Noah Fernandes. Well, Sanford has scored the last eight Iowa points, and Mack will not stop. Plus 22 on the glass. 
was Ohio State against Indiana. This is a problem for the Hoosiers. Like Woodson mentioned, you're not going to win a lot of games that way, and that's why. Get the bucket inside. Wolfolk on the great feed by Fernandes. And Michigan State should drive the basketball or post it as often as they can because now Rutgers doesn't have any rim protection. Now another Michigan State turnover. Fernandez can't get it to go. Palmquist has it blocked away. Now Fernandez hits the three. Mass did a brilliant job of just keeping his crab dribble. And when he had that one on one matchup with Amori on the bench, he felt like he had a high percentage look, and he did. Fernandes with the triple. Griffiths, deep wing three. Ripped it. And he's the step back. Williams the tough drive, Amore the offensive rebound. On the push, and Fernandes just stole it. Cruz has missed its last seven shots. A lot of traffic for Fernandes. Back out to Simpson. Hey! And he drills again! <laughs> Fernandes, fifth year senior transfer oh, with a tough finish in traffic. Mm -hmm. Illinois living on the offensive glass. It's now 11 offensive rebounds. Maybe that will get Noah Fernandes going, Robbie. You mentioned his career at UMass, good shooter. He knocks down a three. Fernandes again, this time at the oh, rim, wow. count it. And the foul, he was giving up all that size. He took it right at the 6'10", Coleman Hawkins. He just initiates some of this contact, kind of puts the brakes on. It's a tough call for Coleman Hawkins because he's just trying to get back into play, but... Shannon just has not been able to connect on the jumper. Fernandes leaks out. What a catch. And a great shot fake. Well, we saw a play in the first half just like that where Rutgers looked up the floor and just couldn't connect. It. They've left the door open for Rutgers, and if the Scarlet Knights can just make a couple shots, then this can get really interesting. That's pretty high percentage right there. And Fernandes had a great feed. He's really had a good second half. Of the timeout, Rutgers looking to get Amori the basketball, and it's just once again a little bit of a screening action to, to move the ball, and Amori's ducking in. He's just kind of physically open. The perimeter, and it's taken down again by Rutgers. Here goes Griffiths the other way. you're seeing from Penn State why they lead the conference in turnover margin and there there's understanding a mismatch well as loud as this place was early it is definitely sighing right now Fernandes a lot to Amore Penn State wanted an offensive goaltend been able to kind of shake loose for a chance at a lob at the rim Well, long pass. That is too long of a pass with Mag intercepting. Well, there's just no reason for that. Oh, the steal in the backboard. And then the finish there from Fernandes. Struggle like this, and you just have to be more secure with the basketball. Fernandes, the transfer from the Minutemen. Fernandes, still fire up top. And Wisconsin calls a timeout. Manuel Abole back in, number 22 for Rutgers, has the ball against Roland Winter. Late clock, Fernandes, a deep three, and it goes. His second made three and a half. Andre Hyatt against Wall. Fernandes hit from that area in the first half and does it again. <laughs> Okay, Noah Fernandez. Foul on Rutgers. It's on Griffiths. Well, Fernandez. Fernandez going to have to make it happen. And does. Davis with nine to shoot. Fernandez, why not? It's been your day. And we're all witnessing it. From the logo. Jersey Mike's Arena. Hepburn in traffic turns it over. 
Here's Fernandez. Fernandez, his first two. But this, in his 10th game of the year, he has his first points of the season. Amori, and he's got his first bucket of the game. Down the stretch, what do they do to get themselves going? Look for Barnhart to get to the basket a little bit more in the second half. He's averaging nearly 10 rebounds a game. Last three. Amori, you can't give him position that deep. Brian, that's his first three-point attempt of the season, and it was perfect. Extra pass, Paul to his top of the key. He hits again! Nice help there. Really well done by Simpson to come down and get the ball out of Garcia's hands. Other way, it's Simpson again. Whoa. Cannot finish. Hyatt keeps it alive. Noah Fernandes had a deep three, but instead passes off to Simpson, who drills that one from the corner. And here's Edie. Back to Lawyer, and he had his pass tip taken away by Gavin Griffiths. And that jumper for Fernandes is down. Really been their kryptonite. If Purdue wants to be the team that they think they can be, that's something they've got to clean up here down the stretch. Griffith scored Fernandes, and he strikes another one. Let's watch. Shot goes down. He can be an X factor for this Purdue team down the stretch. They shoot it so well as a team. You add that, it's so much more dangerous. No, Fernandes is balling out here. You, you know what it's like to play in this arena, and you get competitive, no, right? I mean, in, in any arena, these turnovers are stacking up for Purdue. Griffiths against Gillis. Eurostep! It's a big deal for Purdue making their way towards March. So his mom here in attendance. Top pivot, and Fernandes has been the star of the show for Rutgers yeah, tonight. He's, he's been by There's this low hum from the student section. Whoa. Griffiths. Got All it! Right. In the paint, forcing the issue, Jermichael Davis. 2-3 look just now, switching into like a, almost a matchup again. Fernandes, the UMass transfer, all nylon. Actually gave up 15 on the offensive glass, but Maryland did a good job overall. Much better for Rutgers tonight. Fernandes with a shot clock winding down. Keeps it alive, good hands. And then just sizes it up and goes deep again. Up. Wow. That was quick, and McDaniel cannot hit it. The other way, nobody's got Andre Hyatt. Wow. Michigan, as Jim said, at the bottom with just three wins in Big Ten play right now. Fernandes on a step back. He's got, he had it going in the first half. You get those types of moves on your home. And McDaniel off his knee. He thought he was bumped by Fernandes. 0 for 8 from the floor to start. Amori gets a rare touch. The double comes immediately. Fernandes, the deep three, and it's good. 12 minutes to play in this first half, and a Husker turnover. Fourth Nebraska turnover of the first half. Fernandes on the run, and Wolfolk with the finish. Tomenaga. Ball poked out of his hands by Fernandes. Up ahead to Jeremiah Williams. A little showtime for Williams. Wolfolk out to Fernandes. He got a wide open look, and he'll hit that. And a timeout taken by Rutgers. Rutgers 3 of 19 from 3 tonight. Here's Griffiths with 7 to shoot. He'll launch again from deep, and he hits! Quick release, and that one down for Gavin Griffiths. He looks confident out there tonight. And, you know, we, we did talk about... Realize he's born in 2001, and you say, wow, that makes me pretty old. <laughs> that, is, that is so crazy. <laughs> Fernandes fading and hitting. He just lost his defender oh, there. Kamari McGee kind of losing his footing. And... Right back to it. Griffiths in rhythm. Yes. Second three. He's buried tonight. He, he looks like a different player. Back into the game for Rutgers, so that's a good sign. He's checked out by the athletic trainer briefly. Griffiths. Big three right there for Gavin Griffiths. In his Rutgers career when he had 17 against Ohio State in early January. Nice. 
Lost his defender. Drills a triple. Rutgers back within six.